Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good insight or a piece or you know, um, just an uplift that you truly need it. Please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. I'll greatly be appreciated. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, uh, just a masterpiece trying to master their peace. Shut your mouth and keep on talking. I love that. I got this from this girl's Facebook uh, account. And I'm like, girl, I'm so sorry. I forgot her name. I think it was like Samantha or Amanda. But she really had, her vibe was really just, you know, generating towards me. That girl had some beautiful quotes on there. And I'm like, dad, I'm snatching these posts. You know, and I was like, you know how I feel about stealing stuff and getting, getting credit for it and all that stuff. So I said, Amanda, I think her name is Amanda Motts. I don't know, but if you ever see this video, I do apologize. I didn't get your name right, but hey, you have some beautiful quotes, and I had to snatch that. So it was, it was like when I seen that, it really called to me because there will be a lot of times I tell y'all we pass working on that work in progress. We on that that vibration of uh, putting a finishing touches on our masterpiece, and for us to be able to master our piece, we have to be very aggressive with that transition, you know. And that's not something that's easy to do. Oh, let me go ahead and take me another sip of my tea. I'm spilling tea and sipping it at the same time. Um, you know, we have to really be able to master our peace. And for us to be able to do that, we got to get very aggressive with ourselves. You know, when we're trying to hold boundaries up against other people, we got to hold boundaries up with ourselves. You are trying to get into alignment to whatever is whatever. You know, whatever is good into your vibration is taking you to, because we already on that next level. So that means everything is heightening. You'll notice that. Things have been getting like straight ridiculous. You know, it's get I'm like, Dad, this gets straight ignorant. Woo! You know, maybe just, you know, one of those little, little things. I'm like, oh my God, this is getting ridiculous. Because it's just like so much stuff is coming up and it'll make you feel like, uh, I'm about to say Judge Dredd, but sh shoot, hell. It can feel like that. You know, and it, it's just like these things are really teaching you. It's like, and it's just like our higher selves is like, come on, come on, come on. You know, you've been holding on to this for so long. Why you keep holding on to this for? We got so many good things over here. We ready to show you. But no, you keep holding on to this. We have, you have learned from it. You have grown. You have made, stop. You done married your pain. You done made your pain, your misery, your just your disconnect, whatever it is, that narrative that is paid up of that. You have you have clung to that like an ace boom coon. Let that go. Okay, it's like let that go. And that's what your higher self is telling you. That's what your soul and your heart is telling you. I was up in here cleaning this morning, which I felt so good and I still feel good about that. And I was wondering why I had to ask universe and say universe, why every time I start cleaning old vibrations keep coming up old memories with people i don't talk to situations i don't forgot but it was like you, you know when and then it remind me of what my girl on her video said she's like well you have to declutter you know it's just like you know different things it, it holds in a lot of energy that you you know you really shouldn't be you know what you want to you know hold on to that needs to be released and you'll notice that anytime you start cleaning and it's like you know if you agree with me please drop a line because you were like oh lord that's what that was and it's like when you start cleaning you don't realize when you're cleaning like that you cleaning your soul you're releasing a lot of different things that that have you have holding on to as soon as i said that my nose start itching like oh lord thank you for that gift um that you really releasing a lot of different things that you didn't know you were still holding on to, that you were still suppressing. You know, because a lot of times right now with everything going on with the conjunction, I forgot, I don't know if it, that, that moon that just passed, because I know everybody keep on saying the new moon and stuff like that. And I forgot, I, I've been going through so many different purges and I've been trying to get me some sleep, you know, and it, it, it's just like I've been doing me. And I said I've been doing me, so I don't know because it had been heightened for the last few days. Just like I was talking to y'all about the um um the video I did earlier, what was it? Uh the stir of the echoes effect. 
you know, where everything has been heightened, like you're starting to get more clarity now, you're starting to see different things, it's like, it's like a vantage point, Every, anybody ever seen that movie with Dennis Quaid and, oh, what, what was it, there are so many of them different people and I ain't seen that movie on such, such a long time, but it was a beautiful movie and that mess was crazy, because it showed you different parts of what happened, it's just like, that's what life is, it's like, we're on, it, it feels like we're in our own simulation, and you're seeing things like it may not make sense. Like if you don't walk into a conversation or you don't walk into something, you're like, what the heck is happening here? You know, it'll be one of those situations. But the universe is like, now this is at a time where I'm going to show you. You know, when you're mastering your piece, I'm going to really show you what was taking place and the lessons that you really need to learn. But it's going to be on a deeper vibration that you were, weren't even expected to do, to do. Now you can understand why these different things are happening because you you real hyper like you hypersensitive towards that. Like I said, it's getting redundiculous. <laughs> you know, like it's just redundiculous, and you're going through that. So when all these different things is coming up like that, you are releasing the old. You are releasing the things that you suppress. You are releasing what no longer serves you. And this is what's helping you master your peace because you had to be able to release certain things that you thought you you know you you have made peace with and there's just certain things was still that residue was still there. And there'll be different things that's going on around you that is supposed to alter your reality. You know, these are different, and it's like, how, you know, because I'll be listening to my, you know, I'll be getting pissed off of the universe when I be saying that. I'm like, so you think I want these certain things to happen, whatever. And it's like, no, it's not that. But it's just like, we're telling you there's lessons to be learned in everything that you do. Anybody you meet, any any connection you have, you know, whatever situation it is, it don't, it, it, they say it stops using a negative or positive in the vibration of what is taking place. But it's just a lesson of learning. Of what is needing to happen. It's like different things that may have triggered you. May have gotten on your nerves. These are the different things that's showing you. Where that trigger is. It, and it's showing you. Take your power back. Take your energy back. Whatever it is. Take that energy back. And that power back. And give that back. You know. Allow yourself to release with love. Allowing yourself to release with understanding. If you did not go through these triggers. You would never know. You, you're you're, you're dis dissolving negative thoughts. Negative patterns. Habits. Uh, and you know anything intrusive you know anything that became a habit for you it was like a lifestyle and this is like when we have lived in that old for so long y'all hear me say that a lot we're going through that situation where even if it's somebody that's trying to piss you off or is trying to hurt you it's like take them out the equation it's just a the lesson is like take them out of the equation what universe is telling me now take them out of their equation it's just showing you if the old you is still there it'll be ready to fight it'll be ready to have confrontation it'll be that one to be insubordinate being combative all that but that new you is going to see it for what it is and you're like okay and be observant what's more important me Showing that person that they still have control over whatever they think they got control of. Or I'm allowing myself to know you got control of this. You know, you what what is what, what is more important for you? You making a point to whatever is, is no longer existing into your life. Or you allowing yourself to observe what is taking place and showing, congratulating yourself is like, that no longer bothers me. And I needed that in my life. And they're just telling you, place that understanding there. You needed that into your life to where it shows you what still needed work. And when you see what needed work, you're working, you're, you're mastering your peace. You're mastering your peace by understanding there will be certain situations that is going to be comfortable with misunderstanding you. There will be different things that you only, only thing that you can change and control about is how you see it, how you respond, and how you react. And you're not supposed to react. You're just supposed to observe. You know, you're not absorbing that type of vibration anymore. This is the things that you're working on your strength. And working on your strength is mastering your peace. Working on controlling your thoughts, controlling your emotions, which makes you a very dangerous individual you know not allowing yourself to go through these things if you're feeling these things allowing yourself to really feel these things because this is where your healing is coming in at you're not allowing yourself to suppress these you're not allowing yourself to keep busy so you don't have to feel these things because it's like when you're doing that there's a difference between you being productive just to make yourself feel better or getting out of that vibration 
and it's you know and it's different from allowing yourself to oh gosh th this this thought is coming up let me allow myself to go read a book let me allow myself to go call my friend let me allow myself to go play a video game or let me allow you have to allow yourself to really go through those emotions how would you ever heal and these are the things I had to tell myself how would you ever heal if you didn't go through that be honest with yourself yes this hurts yes this pisses me off yes this is depressing me yes this is just really put me in a low level vibration yes you're being honest with yourself and when you be honest with yourself okay now it's now you you got the honesty out of the situation now what is it trying to teach you of what you need to learn about whatever is going on that's in your surroundings is still disturbing your peace you're mastering this you know and you breaking it down that's why i was like with my ocd and all that stuff it makes me break everything down to science of what's going on the lessons are learned you know of whatever is taking place and these are the things when you start seeing it for that that's what starts making you feel better because you're starting to make sense on what things that was confusing it was a uh, uh, you know you wanted that answer and the answer was always there but it was just the way we went about it. It's just the way we kept on seeing things, how we kept doing those things. And you have to, you know, when you get that way, you giving that clarity to God, like, oh, you know, it's like the oh moment, you know, and you had to really understand that these are the reason why it happened. If you did not know this, it's just like when I tell y'all, when we, we get delayed on our, uh, on, on whatever we want in life. And it's just like when you're doing that. These are the things that universe wants to make sure you're solid on. You're solid with yourself in every every direction. It's like, you know, you you know what you define with yourself. You're loving yourself. You're allowing yourself to be patient with yourself. You're believing in yourself. That confidence is just spiking out the roof. You're showing generosity to different things that you never thought you would be generous for. You know or grat you know grateful for. And these are the different things you're not allowing fear to fuel you, to make you, you stay in a situation you're no longer being in. But you're using that fuel to say, I'm not going to allow myself to still be fearing the unknown. I'm not going to allow myself to fear what other people see in me. I'm not going to allow myself to be fearing the opinions of others, you know, or, or how I'm being defined. These, this is what I feel about myself. Because it's like when you start healing in that heart and you're healing that, you're killing that enemy on the inside. When you kill the enemy on the inside, outside enemies can't affect you. And that's what it's doing by the situations that we constantly face. Whatever is, you know, whatever is like, ugh, you know, it'll be like that, you know, it'll be like that. But it's just like, you needed that. If you didn't go through this, you really wouldn't know. And it's just like, you know, I've told y'all before, you know, we can get upset about what people have done, what they, you know, what they tried to do, what they tried to take away. But it was just like, we needed that in our lives because it really gives you that, that oomph. It gives you that thing, you know, if you know, like, hey, you took this and this and this and this and that, and that don't belong to you, it belongs to me, and, you know, and then it, it's just like, or there'll be different things that God is saying, hey, you know, I want you to manifest this. It's like, how am I going to manifest this? And it was something that really hit you in that heart space where it's like, I'm very compassionate about this. As I said that, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, you're compassionate about it. And when you say it, I want this, whatever it is, are you okay? Then you notice you start sacrificing different things. You start letting go of certain individuals. You start changing your habits. You know, you start allowing yourself to even speak differently. You start seeing differently. You know, yeah, you're going to go some, through some ups and down moments. You're going to go through some struggles. You're going to go through some trials and tribulations. But then you'll start noticing where your heart became at because it's like when you really are passionate about something oh god gonna really put you to the test it's like oh it's just like you said oh i would do anything you know a lot of us have said that i think everybody has said it towards certain things like man what i wouldn't give to do this this and this and this and that like okay you really feel like you can do that yes so anything you want to do anything you know that's what a test is that's exactly what a test is. Just where you see, he want to see what are you willing to change into your life. Because a lot of, you, it, it, you know, it's just like um, a lot of things that you, you know, you weren't willing to do that for or anything else. But it's just for this certain thing that it, this in your life that you were willing to just, you know, go through a whole transformation for. It. And then it's just like when you're allowing yourself to do that, then you can see 
this was something you were really passionate about and you, you didn't take no for an answer that no was the next opportunity you know and the, these are the different things that um that help you master your peace you know if there's different uh situations that keeps coming up it's telling you it's time to release it's time to t use forgiveness you know allowing yourself to know uh, take the anger out you know even if it, it it continues take the anger out it can't affect you it, it can happen every single day in different ways and it won't affect you if you take your power back and then it's just like as soon as i said it, my, my light just don't flicker but you know when you're taking your power back and then it'll be at that point, it's just like, you don't say thank you. You know, if I didn't had this going on with me, I, you know, it would have distracted me from what was important. If I didn't have these people hurt me, I would never know where love is supposed to be placed within me. You know, being able, you know, I hate being by myself, but it was telling me to be my own best friend. This is where I don't have to have, you know, well, you know, when you're, when you're around a lot of people, it makes you lose focus on what you need to change within yourself because if we have that always around us you know there'll be different things that universe and god is trying to send our way for us to spotlight within ourselves but if we're dealing with a lot so many you know so many different other people we lose sight on what he really wants for us to do and you know and these are the different things that he had to do you're learning to be your best friend yeah i can get lonely you know um but this is at that time where you're staying focused on yourself you really need that for yourself, you know, and it'll be different people you're bringing into your life. they will be more understanding of what you're doing or there will be different people that are coming into your life to invest in you, you know. And when you're doing these different things, this is where your master or your peace is. It's like when I say that, it made me think about Buddha. You know, it made me think of like Mr. Miyagi top vibration, you know, the Tai Chi. I'm even listening to Chi right now, you know, and, it, and it's so peaceful. You know, it's hard. Yes, yes, we know that. It's very hard on staying positive all the time. It's, you know, it, it. I mean, it, it's just like that. you have to really master that. Because a lot of times our, our situation is is our thoughts. We allow our thoughts to control our, our emotions. Or our thoughts control the way we go about our day. You know, and those are the things where it's just like we have to take that power back. Regardless on what is going on, regardless of what we're hurt, you know, this will give you that time to say, I need to heal from this. It's going to eat me up if I don't allow myself to heal from this. You know, I'm that masterpiece that is mastering my peace. And for me to be able to do that, I have to be honest with myself. You know, what's more important into your life? You know what you need into your life. You know what you don't need in your life. You know who you need in your life. And you know who you don't need in your life. And it's all about the choices. On what we choose to keep our peace within ourselves. You know. And it's like long as it's like chaotic. It can be chaotic all around you. But long as you focus like this. It's just like when I see the seat. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like every time they do that. It's like yeah you doing it. You doing it. You talking about it. You know. And it's just like. You know, you see a picture, if you can envision, matter of fact, it made me think about that. And I think I used it on a, on a thumbnail before, but I also used it as a, a meme where you see this monk just sitting there like this. And you sit up here and see bills, gossip, drama, other people's opinions, all the stuff is flying around looking like all hell and broke loose. It looked like a tornado was going all the way around him. And you just see him just peace. Like, well, it's out of my control, so let me be out of my head. And that's how we have to do that. And we have to be able to do that every day, you know. Because there will be moments that we have to go through it. But it's like God is not telling you you have to be perfect. God is not saying that you have to be positive all the time. Because there will be moments where we fall short. There will be moments where we have a slip up. You know, we're in a human experience. So, of course, that's going to happen. And these are the things. But when you're allowing yourself to be honest with yourself on why these things are happening or keep happening, that's where the healing, it, it won't be as hard every day if you allow yourself to be honest with that. And they're telling you that's how you master your peace. So, I hope you are able to resonate with that. And like I said, I really love that. You know, and like I said, I'm trying to, you know change my vocabulary about how I do I don't, I'm not trying to embody certain things anymore <laughs> I'm trying not to talk about it like, yeah! 
Let me be able to talk about different things and how we can be able to do it without talking about certain things. And that's where your challenge is. So I would love to give a post a notification. Shout out to Fifi May. Much love to you. Uh, Christina Clarity. Omega McBride. Much love to you as well. And Katie. Um, if you're new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you get to know me. Okay. <laughs> so I'll leave my my um, contact information in the description box below. And as well as uh, uh, just being able to help you further your your understanding your deeper understanding of your purpose your path you know understanding why certain things had to take place into your life uh why did it have to go that way you know i love being able to help because it's like we're helping each other we're learning off of each other through each other's experiences be able to get clarity out of confusion so i love to be able to help out the best way i can it's all about spiritual networking and you know i help out and um you know whatever we speak on is confidential and if you uh you know, if you like podcasting, I'll also leave the link to my podcast as well. Um, this on Spotify and I think it's like iVox or something like that. So like iVox and all these other different stuff. But yeah, it, you can be able to find it on there if you look my name up on there from the link. Um, let me see what else. Oh yeah, if you ever feel uh, generous enough to drop a donation, please go ahead. Uh, you know, I'll leave the Cash App addresses there as well. You know, whatever you are focusing on in life to bring into your fruition. I'm sending whatever vibrations you need times a million towards your way. You know, whatever you're needing. You know, because it's just a fact that you, if you know you've been working hard on your situation and you're trying to bring it in, I want to make sure doors. Uh, it's like about a million doors pop open for you and you can't even shut them. Like, but who? wants to <laughs> you know it's like you want those blessings so who wants to so stay persistent and consistent if you need to take a pause for the cause go ahead and do that but allow yourself to stay persistent and consistent you know the devil will sit up here and try to make you give up today because your blessings is coming in tomorrow so you never know when it's going to happen so go ahead and stay through doing that even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things will really take somebody a long way and it'll take you even further just because you took the time out to be doing that. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to y'all. Namaste. God bless. Shalom. Peace.